right, we're back. It's 8.52. Vivica A. Fox's tumultuous run on Celebrity <laughs> Apprentice came to an end last night, but not before she surprised everyone when she told Donald Trump that she thought fellow competitors Lisa Gibbons was a better choice to stay on the show. Take a look. But do you think I should keep Lisa over you? To be your next apprentice, Mr. Trump? Yes. Yes. It's all, it's all good. Like he's, he's, I made it. I made it this far. I, I, I'm, I'm, you I did a fantastic job. Thank you, Vivica. You're fired. Talk about a roller coaster. <laughs> now I have to say, I think this was kind of classy of you. You Thank were actually you. honest, saying, yeah. you know, I think Lisa's the better competitor. What was going through your mind? Well, I watched her and Geraldo bring in some pretty big checks. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, um, I knew that the final task was going to be a fundraising task. So I had to be honest with myself. They were the better competitors, and I had no problem. I had went as far as I wanted to. I had raised $50,000 for my charity Best Buddies, and that was the main reason why I was there. I wondered if there was a part of it that was also like, you know what, I made it this far. Yes. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm good. Bye. -bye. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> it that, was. Is that partly because we said you had a tumultuous run? Yes, I, mean, I did. There was some drama. Absolutely. Capital D drama mm -hmm. during the series, particularly with Kenya Moore from yes. the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes. I mean, how, when you reflect on it now, mm -hmm. what do you think was going on there? Why was there such tension there? Well, I think with Kenya, it was just des definitely desperate times, call for desperate measures. Um, I, I just wish that she would be accountable for her actions. She did take my phone and she did put out that ugly tweet about myself. Well, like, yeah, let me ask you about that. Yes. Actually, Kenya was here last week. Yes, and she denied it. She denied it. She I said, I didn't take the phone. For those who haven't been watching the show yes. closely, this is, this happened on the episode. Yes, phone gate. Yeah, phone gate. <laughs> Hashtag phone gate, Hashtag as it's known phone on Twitter. Gate, yes, exactly. Yeah, so someone t took your phone yes. and tweeted something unflattering yes. about you. Exactly. And you think Kenya's the one who took the phone. Without any doubt, she kind of told on herself when we were in the boardroom and, and she brought it up and all of us kind of went. And I had just told everyone the day before that my phone was missing. So, you know, one and one always equals two. Doesn't change. <laughs> one of the things that is funny about this, it's funny if it's also strange strange people think oh this must be made up drama yes. i've interviewed so many of the cast members now like i this feels like real yes, it tension. Yes, it was all real. It was all real. And that's a beautiful thing about Celebrity Apprentice. It's like watching a beautiful business soap opera unfold. Nothing was staged. We didn't plan this. I was totally taken off guard. But I had a wonderful time. I'm glad that I did it and I raised money for Best Buddies. Okay, before I let you go. Yes, darling. Here you are at a fashion gala the other night. Mm -hmm. And we have a picture of Vivica. Yes. But I think we, okay, oh, now we have yes. to. Oh, love the orange thing. Yes, yeah. perfect That placement. little red ribbon's getting used a lot yes, lately. Yes, perfect placement. Yeah, that's my oops moment. <laughs> I took pictures in my dressing room, and I'm telling you, my areolas weren't showing. But when I got on the red carpet, they were like, I'm going to have an MVP moment <laughs> right now. But right. at least I looked good, and they were up high. Vivica, that's our drop the mic <laughs> moment right there. It is always great to have you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for good being luck with here. The baby. Thank you All so right, much. Sweetheart.